Heisman now, a Super Bowl champion quarterback himself. Joe, it is an honor to have you. Thanks. So there was Montana Marino in Super Bowl 19, Bradshaw and Staubach a couple of times, but has there ever been a better quarterback matchup, in your opinion, than this one? Uh, Shep, absolutely not. And the reason why is because of the age differential. I mean, Patrick's going for his second in back-to-backs. Tom just seems like all he ever does is play in Super Bowls. When you really stop and think about it, this is his 10th Super Bowl. <laughs> There's only been 55. He's played in 18% of the Super Bowls that have been played. It's such a great story between the veteran, the grizzled veteran, who's probably going to go for at least another couple of years, and the young kid that looks like the heir apparent. Yeah, he really does. I, I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait. The Bucks are, of course, the first team to play in their home stadium. This has been talked about over and over again. But how big of an advantage is that, even with these crowd restrictions? I don't think it's necessarily that big an advantage because Kansas City has basically stayed home. Tampa Bay is at home. So both yeah. of the teams have had an opportunity to be able to control the environment that they're in in the hopes of making sure that nobody late shows up with a COVID and all of a sudden something has to change. So I don't really see it as that big an advantage right now. Um, you know, they're going to have to play the game. Both of these teams have played before. They understand it. They understand the preparation that they have to get ready for. And uh, I'm excited as you are. I think it's really going to be one heck of a great football game. So, so often it comes down to turnovers. We all know that. But what are you going to be watching for in the way of who can make their game plans work? And after that, who wins? It, you know, it's interesting, Chef, because everybody talks about Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, but they aren't playing one another. Tom Brady is playing um, the defense of the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is playing the defense of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So it really boils down to what the coordinators are going to be able to do. I think Patrick's legs give them an advantage, and uh, Tom's going to have to be as hot as he's ever been. But I'm going to I'm going to pick Kansas City in this one. Are you? You know, yes, I am. If I, and you don't want to say, well, that would be the end of it all. It would be because you never know. I don't know. Tom Brady says he can go to 46. I don't doubt him. That who would doubt him anymore? No one would. I, the thing is, and the one thing I look at is at quarterbacks is he hasn't lost his fastball, and that's the biggest thing. If you have the ability to be able to throw the ball like Tom has done, and the protection that he gets, 45 is conceivable. I had I did a thing with him uh, four years ago, and I asked him how long he wanted to play because he was like 39. I said. Uh, how long? He says, uh, 45. Mm. And you know what? I wasn't surprised, <laughs> and I'm not surprised right now. He's not going away quietly yeah, at all. Either. Mighty impressive, even though he was a Pat. Joe Theismann, an honor. Thank you again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.